Sometimes the way we teach accounting in beginning accounting classes seems, at least to me, to be kind of, hmm, what's the correct accounting term? Downright weird. In this video, I'm going to take the weirdness out of beginning accounting for you. Welcome to Accounting How To, where we put the fun in accounting fundamentals. I'm your host, Carolyn Grimm, and that's my sidekick, Terrence. Terrence, looking pretty buff there, big guy. Let's talk about accounting textbooks. I swear somewhere in your textbook, you'll find a line that says, and someday we might even be able to use computers to do accounting. I'm not saying textbooks are behind the times. Okay, yes, that's what I'm saying. The way we teach accounting hasn't changed much since old Terrence was a hatchling. Ah, Terrence, looking adorable, buddy. Case in point, in the first four chapters of just about every textbook, we take you through all the steps to track accounting as done when I was a cub accountant 35 years ago. It's all manual. The good news is that it gives students a great appreciation for accounting software. Fortunately, for the subscribers and fans of this channel, I speak both the ancient language of manual accounting and that newfangled software language. I'm here to serve as your translator. Mm -hmm. In your first accounting class, most textbooks start you out learning how to analyze transactions by using a spreadsheet version of the accounting equation. We guide you through it, and then we never talk about it again. Then we guide you through analyzing transactions using something called T accounts. And then those T accounts are abandoned on the side of the road. So sad. And then we move on to analyzing transactions using journal entries. And that's where we land for the rest of accounting classes forever and ever. As I lie awake at night thinking about accounting, doesn't everyone? I had the realization that we never really explain that the three methods, spreadsheets, the T accounts, and the journal entries, are all giving us the same information. We're just expressing it differently. So I thought, hey, what if I could put together a list of transactions and walk my cool kids of accounting, that's you, through each of those methods so that they can see exactly how they compare. And, oh, by the way, it would be a huge help in doing homework for the first couple chapters of accounting class. So I did it. I put together three videos of accounting exercises so you can see the same transactions three different ways. You'll find the links to those videos in the description, of course. And then if you could please post in the comments your feedback as to whether or not you found this helpful. And if you did find it helpful, your feedback just might tempt me to do more homework helping accounting exercises. So until next time, stay balanced, my friends.